Hi, I'm Dr. Mark, and I'm a voice teacher and stage director. Whether you're a professional pop or rock star that's wanting to take your performance to a next level, or you're just interested in making your car singing or shower singing easier and more comfortable and fun, I can help you get there. I'll start doing that today by reacting to and teaching you singing and performing tips that we can learn from the top performers around the world. Today, let's learn from Brendan Urie's best live vocals. Here we go. You uptown rock in your limousine with your fine Park Avenue gold. You have a dog parrot yard in your hand and a spoon of your nose. When you wake up in the morning with your head on fire, your eyes too bloody to see. Go on and cry in your coffee with dough. You have to be a big shot teacher How to prove it to the crowd You have to be a big shot teacher All your friends were so knocked out You had to have the last word last night So much fun to be around You had to have the front page all time Had to be a big Yeah. 
I chose or associated with his best vocals ever. This is just a video that I found to respond to that was suggested to me by a commenter. But it was really interesting to watch all the different style sounds that he went through. What I came out of this with was that he's an excellent storyteller. He's really good at letting his body and voice express what the music and the text is looking for, which is excellent. That's what we're looking for a lot of the time. The vocal tip is first to not try to compensate for the space that you're entering. For example, one of the first videos at the front of this series was when he is singing without a mic as just him and a guitar. He really seemed to be singing harder on his voice just because he wasn't hearing the live feedback. He didn't have an ear monitor or other things feeding what his voice sounded like, so he's compensating for that. I also noticed that in different situations, he seemed to push and work a lot harder than in others. This seemed to correspond with the acoustic moments when he wasn't getting the same immediate sound feedback of what his voice sounded like, which meant he was relying on what it sounded like in his head at the moment and then trying to create that same sound without a mic giving him that immediate feedback without the ear feedback, which is death, which is going to force anyone to push and sing harder. Interestingly enough, the times when it seemed like he was singing the easiest were often when there was the most sound going on around him. And in those cases, he was just singing easy, keeping that mic right on his lips. He had ear monitors in and he's hearing an accurate representation of his voice. And he was singing really easy and it was a really great sound. So what that tells me is he likes when he's hearing his voice singing its easiest. And it also made me curious to see what would happen if we heard the same songs with him singing easier. Could he still capture the same emotion, thought, and feeling without the tension and stress behind it on the voice? Which leads me to my second vocal tip for today, and that's not to express the emotions here in your neck or impressing at the voice. Let your face express those emotions. Let your body express those emotions. Let the colors of your voice express those emotions. A lot of times, we feels more powerful, feels more emotional when we're putting stress and tension here on our voice and pressing into it. 
Because a lot of times when we feel those emotions in real life, that's often what we'll do. The problem is singing wise, that's not a great thing to do, especially if you're singing day after day and for long periods of time for concerts. Instead, what we need to do is find the same variety of expression, same colors, but in ways that are not straining our neck, aren't overpressurizing the vocal folds, and keeping things relatively easy. Is that possible? Definitely, because we hear it all over the place. We hear this in Brendan's own singing, that when he's singing easy, he still gets a lot of vocal variety. He can still sound very emotional and expressive, but without the vocal tension and pressure on the vocal folds. My performance tip here is to follow the impulse. He's doing so many different things with his body that aren't necessarily graceful, that aren't necessarily well polished. He's just following the impulse and rolling with it, which is really exciting to see and moves an audience, gets them to really engage. They feel the spontaneity of it and it's fun to watch. It really helps us feel like someone believes what they're saying when they follow that impulse. That seems like that should be super easy. Just follow the impulse and do whatever comes to mind. It's not. It actually takes a lot of practice of being able to follow the impulse under the pressure of having an audience watching you and while you're singing. Singing lights up both our brain hemispheres like few other things do. This means that our brain is really working hard and thinking about a lot of different things, multitasking a lot of different things. So to try to be spontaneous and feel comfortable and free to do that is not necessarily an easy thing to do. So what can you do today to follow the impulse and let yourself do that? Well, the more you perform, the easier it's gonna get, first and foremost, so get up and sing and perform. Number two is to give yourself permission. Say, hey, I'm gonna give myself permission to follow the impulse, even if it's stupid, it looks bad, it's wrong, and it's ugly. Third thing you can do is to not allow yourself to judge what you're doing in the moment but to watch it afterwards as if you're watching some other performer. These are all mindset changes. They're all things that get us out of judging ourselves, that free us to follow the impulse, that free us to really live in the moment and make performing more enjoyable for us and more enjoyable for the audience to watch. It feels so much more believable and is so much more engaging. If you want a voice lesson, a performance coaching, or want me to work with you or your group to help you sing easier and perform at a consistently higher level, book a time with me at mrperformingartstudio.com. If you're not sure if it's right for you, if you're not sure if you're ready for it, you really want to learn how to sing better, but you're worried that you're not good enough or have some other fear about it, don't. Just sign up. You're going to find that as we work together that you're going to sing easier, you're going to feel more confident in your performing and you're going to enjoy a life a lot more because the reality is we can't get away from singing. Singing is a part of everyday culture, everyday life for people around the world. So might as well spend some time learning how to do it in a way that feels good and frees you to enjoy what you're doing when you're singing and performing. Signing up for a lesson is easy. Just go to mrperformingartstudio.com, book it, and fill in the rest of the form that comes along with that. I look forward to working with you online.